Lingering elbow pain from playing pickleball can be a major problem and it can even prevent you from playing. And I've gotten so many questions in the comment section recently about how to fix it. We're gonna be using this metal spoon today to help get rid of your elbow pain. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Now, although you might feel the pain in your elbow when you squeeze something or pick something up towards your head like this, the problem is actually coming from these muscles here in the forearm and they're causing the elbow pain. So that's important for you to understand that these muscles are causing the problem so we can address these to help relieve that elbow pain. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is a technique called muscle scraping. And although it sounds a little scary, it helps dramatically. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly step-by-step -step how to do it. So first and foremost, you'll need a metal spoon. Make sure that your spoon's edge is smooth and gentle, nothing too sharp. You don't want it too sharp. You want it nice and dull on the end here. And then you're also gonna need some form of lubrication. I have coconut oil here. You can use your favorite lotion, whatever you prefer. So we're gonna begin here by taking the edge of the spoon here, and you're going to generously coat this entire area of your forearm here and up here towards the elbow. And this is gonna set the stage for a smooth and pain-free muscle scraping experience. So make sure you coat all of this good. So once you have that all coated nice and even, you're gonna hold the spoon at a 45 degree angle and apply very light pressure onto these muscles up here near the elbow to start. And you're just going to literally scrape down this muscle with the edge of the spoon. Like I said, start very gently. You don't wanna go over any of the bones and we're not aiming for any discomfort here. But you do wanna feel like you are scraping down the muscles with this dull side of the spoon. And then as you're gliding down these muscles of the forearm here, feel free to rotate your arm a little bit, turn it like this and hit different spots here. All these fleshy, muscly parts here in the forearm. And then as you're gliding down, pay attention to any gritty spots you feel. They feel like maybe little gel balls inside of the muscle. They're definitely a little gritty. Like I have some right here that I can feel. And these are actually little tiny muscle adhesions. And I do want you to take notes of these little adhesions and this grittiness wherever you feel it at in your arm as they may be contributing to your elbow discomfort. So allocate a definitely a little bit more attention to these areas during the scraping process. Go over it quite a bit more. And you can start to apply a little bit more pressure in those areas of grittiness. Make sure you've got enough oil on there. Keep doing this for a few minutes. Make sure you get all of the areas and try to work out a lot of those gritty spots. And then as you glide over these gritty muscle adhesions that you feel underneath the skin in the muscle belly, you might notice the emergence of some redness. I'm sure you can see there's a little bit of, of redness showing up right here where I had some, some grittiness, some muscle, muscle adhesions in there. You don't want anything crazy, but if you do get a little bit of redness, that's normal. So I'm increasing the pressure just a little bit here and I'm gonna continue scraping down the muscle belly. And while you're doing this, you can experiment with different hand positions. You can bring the wrist up towards you, scrape down. It's gonna feel a little bit different. Then you can also pull the wrist back like this. Do the same thing. It's gonna feel a little bit different. You can also experiment with different parts of the spoon if you want to. Like if you wanna dig in a little bit deeper in a specific area, you can use the edge of the spoon probably a little bit sharper, so be careful. But definitely you can even use the, the tip of the spoon to really get into some small areas of the elbow there, or the forearm, these muscles, they can be tiny. So yeah, do experiment with different parts of the spoon. Don't overdo it. But this simple muscle scraping technique, you can do it for a couple minutes each day. It's really gonna help increase local blood flow to the area and help out with that elbow pain. Now you do really need to do more to make sure that the elbow pain goes away and more importantly, stays away. So you need to rebuild strength around these muscles in this area specifically. So if you have something weighted you can hold on to, I have a little, little dumbbell here or a band works great, whatever pickleball paddle you can even use, whatever you have that has a little bit of weight to it, but not a lot, this movement is gonna be key. So you're gonna place your arm over your knee like this, then you're gonna place the weight in your hand. Like I said, make sure it's not too heavy. It can be very light. You're just trying to rebuild the strength in these muscles without irritating it more, because this is probably gonna be a little tender if you've got some serious elbow pain. Then once you have the weight in your hand, you're going to slowly move your wrist towards your head like this. You're gonna really feel that work in these muscles in the elbow here. And this over time is going to strengthen these muscles. They're gonna be stronger. They're not gonna get irritated as easily. And as a consequence, your elbow isn't going to have that pain Try this exercise, you can do three sets of 10, but all you do is you pick your wrist, 
up towards your head like this. Now, tennis elbow is an overuse injury, so you're not gonna wanna overdo anything using your grip strength when you have this elbow pain. Now, in the past, I've seen these injuries linger for months and months, so it's important that you're taking care of it and giving yourself enough rest, and you can slowly work your way up with the muscle scraping, the exercising, and the playtime. Click subscribe if you guys are into this kind of content, and I'll talk to you soon.